Hello YouTube viewers and subscribe to 60 Dark King and today we are going to watch the highly requested and it's about bloody time Death Battle of Doomsday vs the Hulk <laughs> So the monsters have evolved baby from ancient Krypton versus the embodiment of rage via gamma radiation from DC and Earth. Well, this is something I wanted to see for a long time. Anyway, disclaimer, remember this is for criticism purpose and as such is protected under the laws of fair use. I have no interest in any kind of copyright shenanigans whatsoever. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. English, so without further ado, let's get to it. And play. Before we get into the episode, I have something very important to tell you. Sure. The game Super Red Ray Gun just launched on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. With over 20 unique levels, three modes of play, and tongue in cheek story of 1980 politics, it's a whole lot of value for just $9.99. And pick it up by November 15th, and we'll even give you the soundtrack featuring music from Phantom and K in Bubble Pipe. Interesting. Anyway, let's get to the good stuff. Pure unadulterated rage. Actually, in a stressful situation, you have to avoid this sort of emotion in order to keep yourself focused. Unless you're a giant rampaging pile of muscles like these two, Dr. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk, and Doomsday, the monster who killed Superman. He's with an ambulance. Oh, the 60s. Analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, it's 3D. Nice. Within each of us, oft times, there dwells a mighty and raging fury. And this suits no one better than the mild mannered scientist Bruce Banner. Because when Bruce gets <laughs> angry, oh boy, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Dr. Robert Bruce Banner may have grown up with few friends, but what he <laughs> lacked in popularity, he made up tenfold with his intellect. However, in spite of his gifts, it was never enough to earn the respect and love of his father. Partly because Bruce was so smart that his alcoholic dad literally thought he was a monster and expressed that to Bruce pretty thoroughly. God damn. damn. How much distance do you think he got there, Wiz? Eh, nine, <laughs> ten feet? Man, with an arm like that, he could really go places. Like the nut house after he murdered his wife right in front of Bruce. Damn. Oh. Understandably traumatized, Bruce coped by creating an imaginary friend to talk to. You know, I had an imaginary friend once. You did. What was his name? Dad. <laughs> oh. Well, Bruce's friend served as an emotional outlet all the way through his college graduation. However, his advice to Bruce was oftentimes destructive. So when the U.S. military recruited Bruce to make weapons, it was actually kind of fitting. Bruce was tasked with developing a gamma bomb, which would use gamma radiation to target enemy weapons and buildings without endangering human lives. At least, that's what Bruce was told. Surprise, surprise! Gamma radiation is actually pretty fucking harmful! And when it came time to test the bomb and some dumb kid decided to play his harmonica right in the test zone, Bruce yeah, asked smart. his assistant to stop the countdown and test up to save it. But turns out his assistant was a Russian spy who set off the bomb anyway. On that strange, strange day, Bruce's imaginary friend became a real-life terror as he transformed into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> really? Yes, apparently. Ever since, whenever he's angry, Bruce's body and mind morphs into that of the Hulk's, granting him unmeasurable power. No bother having factor actually. There's one little detail that kind of ruins the whole experience. Bruce can't really control the Hulk. In fact, the Hulk is his own being, and they both hate each other, vying for dominance over Bruce's body. And yet, 
Damn. the Hulker often reminded how much they depend on each other for survival. Bruce figured if he was stuck with this big green Goliath forever, he might as well try using it for good. Eventually joining the Avengers, Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the Illuminati. Paul Damn. Just held up a 150 billion ton mountain, escaped <laughs> Earth's gravitational pull with a single jump, and one time when a planet's tectonic plate started splitting apart, threatening to shatter the whole world, he just jumped right in there and pulled the planet back together. The estimated average mass of a single lithospheric plate is nearly 45 quintillion tons. And Damn. The this scene so very much. <laughs> Puny God. <laughs> I love that scene. And that movie. What if all you had ever known was hatred and aggression, violence and pain? This life is reality for you. <laughs> Shut the hatch up. Okay, sorry, I had to put it in here. Brutal. The idea being each new clone would be stronger than the one before, thus covering millions of years of evolution in just a few decades. That doesn't sound like science. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so after 30 straight years of baby murder, one of the clones finally survived the test. Amazed by his own success, Bertrand named this baby the ultimate. The ultimate baby. But to the rest of the universe, he was their doomsday. Yeah. 
of experiments, Doomsday's greatest power of all is his ability to adapt to his opponent's powers. After taking his sweet revenge, Doomsday stowed away on a supply ship and ravaged dozens of planets until he finally found himself on Earth. On that day, Doomsday did the unthinkable. On that day, Doomsday killed Superman. Well, kind of. He actually put him into a super sleep after several days he kind of woke up more powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, all yeah. know who is. At least Dooms took Doomsday down with him. Or maybe not. Turns out, whenever Doomsday dies, he just comes back to life, forever immune to whatever killed him in the first place. Damn. He's punched to death by Superman, blasted apart by the radiance energy, brutally ripped in half, incinerated by Imperiax, and just curb stomped by a Kryptonian horde. Practically invulnerable at this point, Doomsday's taken on Darkseid, tanking his Omega Beams and feeding him to near death. He single-handedly defeated most of the Justice League and took on an energy attack that wiped out a fifth of a planet. He's punched through the Phantom Zone, battled super beams called dogs for a century, and even broken Wonder Woman's arms. Arms Damn. to help pull the Earth. And during his rematch with the Man of Steel, after witnessing Doomsday survive an explosion equivalent to one million nukes, Superman realized that the only way to stop him was to send him to the end of time. And his most powerful Doomsday's mere presence can boil the ocean and disintegrate buildings. A casual stroll across Africa may will to be an endangered species just by walking around. But what is that? This one's hard. more so since I really don't have the uh, I really don't know who'd win so I'm going with the Hulk just to see what happens anyway bloody bloody blah okay let's go <laughs> oh that's gonna end badly Really, really badly. Yep. Ah, oh, no, we're on screen. <laughs> Mandatory at this point. Huh? Well, that's new. Have impact. That's good. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to do much. Oh, 
Man does the music. <laughs> Man, does it music fit? Okay, is he mad enough? Not quite. You break buildings good, but only break Okay, maybe. Okay, New Day wins. Oh, that was beautiful. With the whole thing, <laughs> power of New Day's impossible immortality, this truly felt like a fight between an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Hulk may have had the advantage in raw strength, at least at his full potential, but Doom Day could certainly hold his ground. His victories against the likes of Superman and Darkseid prove he can take a hit from someone strong enough to break planets. And by experience, Doom
that is due. Doomsday. <laughs> the winner is Doomsday. Really? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> metal. So, who's next? Oh, are you seriously? Hey guys, I'm going to put Zoro versus Zasuke. Oh, I'd watch that. See by my continuous screen, that was so much fun. <laughs> I mean, the haze had impact. The city was well modeled, not mention destruction, and both characters look like, well, their characters. Oh boy, this was so much fun. Anyway, people, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, see you around. Ta ta.